Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Um, I just wanted to make this video today just to kind of show off a little bit of my build that I have going on. I've um, I've been running this for a little while and just been switching up and down, kind of changing things up whenever I'm running boss battles and just seeing what works off and online. Just to see, because I've had a little bit of issues just making a good build that works well. Um, I will say that the main thing for this is going to be your class mod right here, and it has the uh, Fast and the Furious stacks on it. Pretty much anything that gives you those stacks is going to be a very helpful class mod to you. Um, I'm going to quickly go over my skill tree here, and uh, it's pretty much, this is the most important stat right here. As long as you have this one filled out, you're going to do well, but of course I'm going to go over a lot of the... Uh, the stats that I've actually added points into that'll really help you out in the long run. But uh, again, my setup isn't really anything special. I'm running normal guns. My shield isn't really anything special. I do it for the movement speed. Um, uh, I would say my grenade doesn't matter. My relic doesn't matter. My guns more or less don't matter. I mean, any decent like OP powered weapon is going to do pretty well. I mean, most of your legendaries are going to do really well in the game, late game anyway. Um, I will say that the setup I'm using, the laser sploder, the duck, the deuce, whatever it is, and uh, the cutsman and the liuda, those are amazing guns for it. Either basically you can use them for boss smashing or you can use them for running through random mobs and things of that nature and it does a really really good job but mostly what you're after is that class mod but I'll go ahead and run through my skill tree here really fast just to give you guys an idea of what I've put points into um, like I said as long as you have this fast and the furious and a uh, class mod that's gonna help with that bonus you're gonna do great like with this class mod I have a 50% damage boost and a 20% movement speed boost and of course with my shield and other things I'm moving very quickly and have a lot of damage going and then of course I have all of these stats set up in this tree to where I can get down to the bottom of the stalker skill tree um, you're gonna wanna have fadeaway equipped and you're gonna wanna have gorillas in the mist equipped with fadeaway and I would say along with that you're gonna want unblinking eye and I would just like I said just go through your skill tree carefully select anything that you can in this skill tree that's gonna give you critical hit damage and things of that nature I mean of course I have random points thrown off into just things like my health and my pet damage and things like that reviving me by my pet um, granted I don't really use much revives anymore because of the glitch I've been using which I, I, I can go over that in a different video if you guys would like to see that but that's basically what's making my Fast and the Furious work so well is the fact that I am using basically I have it gives you that 50% bonus whenever you're above half health so as long as I'm above half health I have a huge damage boost and then with this stat here I also have a huge damage boost if my health is at full it doubles this damage boost up to 50% as well so I have another 100% boost on my damage right now along with this critical hit damage just a lot of little things give me damage boosts like in this skill tree I have this set up for just gun damage and the action skill is great too but mostly gun damage <laughs> and uh, of course with the uh, next skill tree I ended up using interplanetary stalker because those stack up and do a lot of damage you're gonna have leave no trace which scores a critical hit and it'll give you ammo back to your magazine which helps you to keep scoring those critical hits over and over um, your next thing is gonna be head count and that's uh, your chance for your action skill to cool down whenever you score a critical uh, after that your I put all of 
the points in the uh, two fang here and it it just gives you a second projectile a lot of the time whenever you shoot which is great with the duck um, these bottom stats I just kind of threw these in here this gives you a hunter skill effect and this also gives you a little bit of a effect towards other bigger bosses and gives you cash as well but mostly it's about that stat right here that fast and the furious and just making sure you have your uh, your main augment set up to where you're not gonna lose your fade away or you get that bonus as well to fade away but yeah um, I suppose uh, you see my guns here they're they're not really anything special I mean I know a lot of people use like the the dual laser sploder and all that stuff I use this laser sploder because I I don't use any ammo really I'll go through an entire boss fight and I won't use but two clips in the whole boss fight if that and uh, yeah I'll just go ahead and run through this building real fast just to show you guys a quick example of how OP this build really is sorry for my aim I've, I've been playing all night by the time I had uh, film this little bit here but I just wanted to kind of give a decent little idea of how quickly that this can shred things I know this isn't a great example because all these guys have shields and I'm smacking them with a laser sploder but uh, yeah I just like using it because it gives you a, a whole lot of time just to run through your clip and it doesn't use a lot of ammo and uh, I'd say your biggest thing is just make sure you have any damage boosts that you can with flag that's really what he's all about is having that damage boost but again if you guys want to see that video showing how to do the uh, invincibility or maybe a few little rundowns maybe a boss killing run something like that I can I probably can run through every like all of the four main bosses and probably five minutes tops if that <laughs> But yeah, as you can see, I, I kind of set this up a few hours before I'd make this video. Like, I tried out probably 10 or 15 different builds, just running on and offline, killing bosses just to see what would work best. But this is the one that worked out the best for me, and I, I hope it was like a useful thing for you guys just to see how my skill tree is set up and what I use to make myself so powerful. And uh, I hope that you guys get a little bit of use out of that skill tree as well. Let me know if you guys equip those skills, and I'll give you a quick look real fast just to see. Let me know if you guys end up throwing that on your guys' account, and let me know if you guys want to see any more videos on Borderlands, because I know it's been a long time since I've done any Borderlands content since the second game, and I'd like to get some more content on the channel. But I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope this was all useful to you guys. And I really hope uh, it works out for everyone. I've been having a great time running this setup, so I think you will too. Thanks a lot for watching. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully.